So today is going to be the last Halloween ornament that I make to go on the Halloween tree for this year. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing those uh, being made. I've enjoyed making them so much. Hope I gave you guys some ideas on how to make s'mores for your very own tree. Uh, but anyway, today I'm going to be using the candy corn shape again. But instead of candy corn, I'm going to be making Frankenstein out of it. Oh my goodness. Now, actually, I saw this done up as a cookie. It was a cookie, a, you know, a candy corn shaped cookie. Of course, not this big, but it was made up to be Frankenstein. I thought oh, that would be so cute on my tree. So I just kind of made a craft out of it instead of a cookie. So <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started on our Frankenstein ornament. This is going to be going on the Halloween tree. So the supplies I'm going to be using for the candy corn Frankenstein ornament is, of course, this little um, candy corn that I bought at Hobby Lobby. They're just shaped like a candy corn. They're just made of very thin cardboard. Also going to be using a Mod Podge, of course. Some black ribbon. This black cording here. It's shiny and oh my goodness, I got a ton of it for like $1.99. But I guess it's used for um, lacing or things like that. I'm not really sure, but it came in so great for my little Frankenstein ornament. Also some purple paint with purple glitter. Of course, the Frankenstein is gonna have glitter on him, I tell you. Green paint with green glitter, white paint with white glitter, and a black paint with black glitter. So yeah, even my Frankenstein is going to sparkle. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Now this is the little candy corn that I'm going to be using. I did get this at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's just a really thin piece of cardboard here. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my lines on for my top section and my middle section. And you can put those lines anywhere you like. There's no right or wrong place to put them. Make it squiggly if you want to. It does not matter. Now I'm going to be using uh, two different color patterns for these. One of them is gonna be white, green, and purple. And the other one is black, green, and purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, my paints all into little containers. Okay, so I've gone ahead and just put a little letter, W for white, G for green, and P for purple. And on this one, B for black, G for green, and P for purple because I don't want to get them mixed up. But you probably don't have that forgetfulness problem like I do. But if you do, you know, that's just a great way to remember what color you're supposed to start with. So um, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and start here on this top and paint this one white. And then this one right here will be black. I'm gonna let these dry for a little while and I'll put two or three more coats of paint on them. Okay, so they are dry and ready for the next color of green. Okay, this is definitely gonna take a couple more coats and then we'll move on to the purple. Okay, now we're ready to paint the purple part and this color is so pretty. So, I love purple. Anyway, let's see what it looks like. Okay, a couple of more coats and we'll be ready to add the glitter. Okay, so now I'm just putting Mod Podge on the purple section of the Frankenstein candy corn. And after I get that on, I'm going to be sprinkling it with the purple glitter. Okay, so we'll let this dry really well and then we'll move up to the green glitter. Now I'm going to go ahead and just cover the whole 
uh, candy corn with Mod Podge just so it seals that glitter on there and it doesn't fall off. Now everything is dry, ready to go ahead and add the black string. It's really very flexible. It's going to be perfect for what I'm going to be doing. Just going to attach it with uh, some hot glue. I think they turned out oh so cute and I made several of them and they all have different little patterns for the scarring so you know you can just make up whatever design that you want now let's just go ahead and get all these hung on the tree okay yeah I think they turned out so cute I mean how can Frankenstein get any cuter than this right <laughs> anyway I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the decorations that I made for the Halloween tree this year it was so much fun I just loved it and the tree looked so cute not spooky or scary at all just the way I like it <laughs> so anyway I appreciate y'all watching I'll see you again next time bye now